Do you really need a website? Let's talk about it in depth today. I'm Owen Video. The Owen Video Show is about to rock you Welcome, everybody, to a Friday improv show. I am Owen Video, and today we're going to be talking about whether you really need a website or not. You know, it's crazy stuff. Do you really need it? We're going to dig into that today and more. But first, I want to welcome you if you're watching us live on Facebook or on YouTube. We're here to have a good time today. That's what we want to do. That's what I'm all about. So I'm glad that you joined us here today. You know, there's a lot of conversation around whether or not you actually need a website. And it's it's surprising to me uh, that we're still having this conversation uh, nowadays because... There's there's lots to be said about the different types of ways you could be marketing your business. So I'd love to know in the comment section right now, whether you're watching us on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, do you believe in websites and do you have a website? Okay, I'd love to. I'd love to hear those things and know those things uh, about you today. I want to talk about. One, two, three, four, five. Five things that maybe you haven't considered, maybe you haven't thought about today. And I, I'm not necessarily advocating for one or the other. I'm just saying if you don't have a website, there are some things that you're going to be missing out on. And is that really the best approach for your channel, right? So those are the, some, of the, some of the things that we're going to be digging into today on this beautiful Friday morning. I, I promise I'm not going to spend too much time uh, uh, stealing moments out of your day today. I just wanted to focus on a couple different aspects, and, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see you know what your opinions are on these kinds of things. So excuse me for just a second. I wanted to welcome some of my live guests. Rosh Seilers, dude, good to see you. Rosh, uh, just so you know, uh, my whole... Um, let's see if we can get our comments up here. My whole, uh, uh, Facebook page is basically, or excuse me, my whole YouTube homepage is basically you. Uh, Katie Fries is, um, is logging in today. Miriam Torres, Alfredo, uh, Foons is saying, I believe in websites, although I don't have one. And, uh, Katie Fries is saying, yes, do not have one yet. Adam Diddy is saying, hello. Good to see you, buddy. Glad you're here today. Uh, you know, I'm looking over at the um, uh, at the YouTube page. Uh, excuse me right now. I'm looking at the, uh, the comments section. There we go. And now we're refreshed. We're refreshed. Uh, good to see you guys out there today. Rosh, you're looking good, man. You're, all your videos uh, are looking fantastic. I love the new thumbnails. Really, guys, go check out Rosh's uh, 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 page. You can just click on his image here. He's joining us on YouTube today, and he's just doing a great job. So you're somebody I've really seen taking advice and developing. So let's get into the content for today. Uh, I want to ask you guys if you're enjoying the content, if you enjoy what's going on here today, do me a favor, click that share button. Click it. Click it right now. Have some fun with it. Get it out in the news feed. We're here to like waken up your senses and make you feel alive again. You ever get that feeling throughout the week that you, you just feel like you'd rather be dead? Click that share button. Click it. Click it right now. Have some fun with it. Hang Get it out second. in the news feed. We're here to like waken up your senses deal with it. and make deal you with feel the echo. alive again. Deal with yep. the echo. I'm going to turn the sound off in a second. I just want to be able to engage on Facebook as well. Uh, yeah, guys. Fallon Zoe, good to see you. Florida, Danielle Gerlov logging in. Good to see you guys on Facebook. So, yeah, let's talk about whether or not you need a website. I want to sort of dig into some things that you may not have considered. Uh, first of all, uh, do you really need a website? Yes, you definitely need a website. Uh, a website is the only property that you can truly own uh, that becomes yours and everything on it is yours, including the traffic, the leads, the monetization. Think about this, guys. Uh, on your YouTube channel, your vlog, it could all YouTube could take it all away in a heartbeat, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's just the bottom line. Um, there's nothing you would be able to do about it. 
and and you're sort of stuck there. So I want to encourage you guys. My you know my uh, end of the day uh, uh, message here is that you absolutely need to be building a website. Now, here are some things that you may want to consider if you're not in that boat yet. Uh, okay. Um, and, and just so you know, guys, if you click on the annotation on YouTube, I just did a video. <coughs> I just did a video on how to make a website from scratch. And it's, it's super simple. Philip Chandler is saying, I have a cheap one for now. Uh, Yossi uh, is logging in from Israel saying, I love your videos. Thank you so much. Miriam Torres just shared on Facebook. Pfft, love to see it. Uh, look, even a cheap one is fine. It's the only thing that you're truly going to own. And you need to be in control of your website, your vlog, your YouTube channel, your Facebook live show, your podcast. You need to be in control of those things. So a couple things that I want to uh, encourage you guys to think about. Number one is having a home base for all your content, right? You ever come up with a show, like my good friend Animal Facts, he's not on right now, but he may log on uh, soon enough. You know, you... Uh, you may want to do content that doesn't necessarily fit into your YouTube channel, or you may want to do content that doesn't necessarily fit into your Facebook live show or your podcast. You know, having a website gives you a home base uh, where you can, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can add those things and it's okay. You know, by having a home base, you have one name that you can call out. You can call out owenhemsath.com, which I think is actually a website. Uh, I'm not I'm not positive about that. <laughs> uh, I know it used to be a website. But having a home base that you can just call out and say, hey, this actually belongs to me is, is, super, uh, is super important. And you're sending out one name. And that way you're not kind of going into, hey, visit my YouTube channel. Go to my Instagram page. Go to my Twitter page. And shouting out all these different things, right? Rather... You you can just say, hey, go to owenhemstat.com or mywebsite.com, and that's that's where people can go. From that home base, they can access all your content, right? And that's that's the, the trick right there is from that home base, they're able to access all your content. Um, so I want you to think about that in terms of having a having a home base. All right. Uh, the next part of that, guys, is being able to capture leads. Okay. This is a big one. You know what? I wasn't going to do this today, but let's go ahead and go to one of my websites. I do have a couple websites. You know, I've got one main website and then I've got a few other websites that, uh, like, for example, the podcast. I've got a podcast with Nick Nimmin called the Business of Video um, Podcast. And if you go to that website, let's just go ahead and check that out right now. Uh, this is going to be a good place to generate leads. <clears throat> All right, so let's check this out right here and just kind of get a look at, at what's what's going to happen. Um, as we're – see, there it is right now, and I'm just kind of waiting for the screencast to switch over here. See that? I've got a little pop-up set uh, here that says stay on top of online video trends. Uh, and then, you know, you could put your email address in there and that's, that's a great thing to have. This is how we generate leads, right? And when we generate leads, guess what we do with them? It's very simple. When we do new content, we share our, our content with those new leads. This is a huge advantage to you if you're building a YouTube channel, if you're building an Instagram page, if you're building any type of content where you want to be developing an audience, you've got to be generating a list. Now, so many times I've heard YouTubers, vloggers, and otherwise creatives talk about, oh, you know, a list. And you guys on YouTube, you've heard me talk about this. You guys say, I, I say things like, hey, um, <clears throat> You know, you, you've, you've got to have a list and they kind of like roll their eyes. Oh, that's so businessy. That's so professionally. I don't want to really do that. Um, that's one of the things that you've got to be, you know, I think that's a big mistake in your marketing. You really have to be building a list. And when you're building a list, we call it lead capture. When you're building a list, you're giving people the ability to follow your content, to, uh, to, uh, uh, engage with your content. And you don't have to rely on algorithms to put your content in front of people. If you guys are building on YouTube, you know, Right, maybe some of you guys that are just starting, Rosh, how long have you been on YouTube? I'd love to know. In fact, why don't you guys let me know? How long have you been producing on YouTube? Let me know in the comment section. If you guys have been producing on YouTube or even on Facebook for a while, you've seen the algorithm change, right? You've seen it, that you've seen your reach just tank. And by by generating leads on your website with a simple form like this, right? This is just a pop-up I made with a very simple uh, plugin. 
then what I'm able to do is I don't have to worry about the algorithm changing for people to see my message. To the, to the contrary, I've got this list that I own, okay? And I can send my content out to them. You know who's really great at this is Sean Cannell at Video Influencers. Give me some likes if you know uh, Sean Cannell. He's a great producer, someone that I look up to as a professional uh, in the space as well. And, and you've got you've to have that. So by having your own website, you're able to add a pop-up. You're able to generate leads, build a list, which gives you control over your content. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is retargeting. Now, this is going to get super businessy for some of you guys, but retargeting is the process. Retargeting is the process of being able to capture someone and market to them on another platform. So, so here's here's an example. Have you guys been onto Amazon? Maybe you go to Amazon and you look at some uh, you know, you look at some speaker product or you look at some, uh, you know, uh, essential oils or whatever the case might be. And then you go onto Facebook and then that same product is being advertised to you on Facebook. Have you guys seen this before? Let me know if you've seen this before. Christian Country Boy is saying, please don't tell me I need to own my website. Yeah, well, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what, what you need to do. I'm here to give you five things that you should consider before you kind of like, Ho, you know, ho hum that, you know, Ross Seilers is saying, um, um, daily fall, uh, 2016. Okay. So since 2016, Adam Diddy has been on YouTube for 10 years. That's awesome, dude. Air five to you. I've been on YouTube for maybe four or five years myself. Actually, it's probably been longer than that. I think I uploaded my first video on the Owen Video channel at 2006. Of course, at that time, it wasn't the Owen Video channel. It was something else completely different. Pearly Q is saying retargeting. Absolutely. So retargeting is this. You go onto Amazon, you're looking at essential oils, then you go onto Facebook and there's essential oils you know, right in front of your face there. That's retargeting. Retargeting is the process of you visit a website, you drop a pixel into the viewer's website, into their browser, and now you can share content with them on different platforms, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on um, uh, Facebook, or whether it's on the Google Display Network. Zef Zan is saying, yes, guys, check out Zef Zan. Uh, hey, Zef, I'd love to know where uh, people can, because I know you're on Crowdcast, but where is the main platform that you're streaming from? Uh, let us know in the comment section on Facebook, and, uh, and I'll shout that out. Zef is a professional, uh, someone that you guys should all be following and modeling. So retargeting is this, like if somebody watches your YouTube video, uh, videos, you can retarget them on YouTube, right? So let's say somebody is watching my channel on YouTube, I can retarget them on YouTube. So they watch one of my videos, now I can send them an ad to opt into my website or to just watch more videos and that's that's a very effective um, uh, you know, effective process. But when you own a website, you're able to retarget them on different networks. So let's say somebody watches my YouTube video and they click on a link to go check out my, my website. Now that they visited my website, I'm able to retarget them on Facebook. I'm able to retarget them through the Google Display Network. This is a huge advantage for business owners and bloggers and vloggers. Look guys, if you're growing a blog, if you're growing a YouTube channel, your goal is probably, right, to to get sponsors and to get enough traffic to where you can monetize it through your ads and things like that. Well, if it costs you $100 a month to run ads to your channel, um, then, um, uh, you know, but you're making $300 in revenue, then that's a good thing for you right? That's a really good thing for you. So uh, Monte Weaver, Joanna Coles, good to see you guys logging in. Ha happy to have you on the show. I want you guys to think about that, the cost analysis uh, uh, approach to that, okay? Like if you're if you're spending 100 bucks on ads, but you're driving $300 a month in revenue to your channel through those ads, right? Because they're clicking on links or they're, they're increasing your AdSense value, things like that, then that's a good business decision. And as vloggers, as bloggers, as creatives, I want you guys making better business decisions that's that's something that i'd love to see okay so the next part uh next thing to consider we've talked about you need to have a home base right so uh when you have a website you've got one home base where you can be promoting all of your content i'm actually going to switch 
uh, internet processes here. See if I can get the stream to go a little bit smoother. Uh, it's, it's pretty good, but let's see if we can get it to go a little bit smoother. Uh, number one is having a home base where you can promote all your content. Number two is having a place where you can generate a list and build a list by using a pop-up or something similar. And then number three is the process of retargeting. And retargeting is a huge advantage, especially to a business owner, right? A business owner wants to be following his contacts around the web. And that's a big, big thing. Is Nick Nimmin? Nick Nimmin's in the house, everybody. Good to see you, buddy. Pfft. Nick Nimmin and I host a podcast called The Business of Video Podcast. We upload a new episode every Monday on iTunes, but we're live on Facebook every Wednesday. So it's good to see you here. Nick is saying, hey, great job on the, um, on the chat box effect. Hey, I had some help with that. I had some good help, so thank you uh, for participating in that. Andrew Kahn, logging in. Good to see you, Andrew. Andrew, uh, of course, is a business partner. We uh, do a lot of stuff on the TubeBuddy channel together. He's a producer himself. And um, Simron is talking about mobile-optimized websites. You know, mobile-optimized is the great myth uh, of our culture right now. You know, mobile optimization is a tough thing to do, um, but Google will – penalize. I said penalize the other day. I got a lot of flack for it. Um, uh, YouTube will, will uh, excuse me, uh, Google will penalize websites that are not mobile optimized. So you have to be in a place where your, your website is mobile first, a mobile first design. Now, WordPress makes that pretty easy. Uh, you know, but, but still not perfect. So you can't just rely uh, strictly on, on uh, you know, getting a mobile optimized theme, right? It goes a little bit farther than that. Um, now, so, you know, that's kind of getting into the weeds a little bit. I think it's a great point. I'm glad you brought it up. Let's talk about point number four. Point number four is if you're a YouTube creator, you need to be able to link out to other things. And the only way to do that is with the website. You have to have an approved website or a verified website on YouTube. Give me uh, some thumbs up, some likes if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you guys are creators and you know what I'm talking about. So let me just give you an example here of what I mean by linking out. <clears throat> So I do a lot of uh, affiliate work. I do some affiliate work. You know, I've got affiliates in, in various different um, um, fields. And I'm going to show you guys sort of the inside of my websites. I have a, a simple 301 redirects, uh, uh, simple 301 redirects uh, uh, option on my, uh, on my website here. And here's what I want to do. Because the only links I can send out on YouTube have to have the domain, the video spot.net in them. And I can actually add multiple, multiple uh, uh, websites, but let's just, you know, you, you have to have a verified website. So, for example, Justin Brown has a phenomenal green screen academy, and I have an affiliate link to that academy. Well, if I want to talk about that on my YouTube channel, I can't link out to it because his website is actually hosted on LaunchFire or it's actually hosted on Thrivecart.com. So by having my own website, I can create a 301 redirect. That's the video spot.net slash green screen academy. And it will redirect to this page right here where people can access Justin Brown's course. Now, I'm not like trying to like turn this into a Justin Brown commercial, although the course is phenomenal. What I'm showing you is that you need to have your own website so that you can set up 301 redirects within your website. Now, here's another example. You guys know I'm a big believer in the uh, TubeBuddy uh, in the TubeBuddy uh, product. So I have a, a, a site, you know, I have a, a link in my website, thevideospot.net slash one penny, and that goes over to the TubeBuddy site. What I'm saying is you cannot send traffic from from your YouTube page over to a third-party website unless you're using 301 redirects and you need to have your own website for that. So uh, point number four is if you want to be linking out to other things, if you want to drive people to your Facebook page, if you want to drive people to your Twitter, say, hey, click on the link right here and you can go to my Twitter page, you have to be using your own website. Uh, and uh, yo, I got a point up here. You've got to be using your own website 
and it has to be a verified channel and so that's why you would need to build your own website now just so you guys know if you click on the iCard system now you'll see my last video this is for YouTube only sorry Facebook if you're watching I'll put the link in the comment section later I just did a video on how to build a simple website you can literally have a website up in two hours guys it'll cost you 150 bucks but let's come on um, come on you know what I mean $150 and you can do all these different things I'm only covering five things that your website will do um, but you need to be able to link out uh, okay and then finally the last point that I want to make we're covering five things to consider okay on whether or not you need to have your own website is you need to have it's for easy easy traffic let's just say that you want to host your YouTube channel uh, on your um, on your blog okay then what you need to do or, or you want to put your YouTube channel on a website then what you need to do uh, is, is create something like jarhead6.tv or animalfacts.tv or um, you know uh, uh, nicknimmon.tv and I think Nick Nimmon you have your own website right you have nicknimmon.com and you know eattradetravel.tv here's what you're doing when you do that guys is you're actually telling your audience one place to go to access your channel and you're not saying hey search for eat trade travel on YouTube or search for Owen video on YouTube to the contrary what you're doing is you're saying hey just check out eat trade travel TV you can set up a redirect have it go directly to your YouTube channel and now it's an easier it's less of a mouthful right it's less content uh, for you to be spitting out it's less for me to remember when I want to go and check out that content so you know I, I gotta tell you guys if you if you haven't started uh, building uh, Nick says he's got to sleep yeah totally uh, Nick is saying uh, I guess it's like I always uh, uh, tell him it's always two o'clock um, um, uh, uh, you know when when he builds a website uh, again a great question from B uh, or when he builds a website look at me I can't I obviously can't manage comments and a live stream all at once uh, I'm like saying nonsense stuff here but uh, I know Nick is logging in from Thailand and it's good to see him uh, when he's able to make it to the show uh, BG Jimmy is saying $150 to build a website and that's it no money no more money to put in yeah you, you know to get the website up and running you're gonna pay 150 bucks you're gonna need like ten dollars for the domain name and then hundred and forty dollars for some basic hosting and that is gonna give you a whole year of website development every year you're gonna re you're, you're gonna need to renew that cost so it'll probably cost like 140 bucks a year um, to keep that maintained and you go guys that's 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 the cost of doing business you got to understand if you're building a YouTube channel in order to attract sponsors and AdSense you're building a business and you've got to have some business tools in place and this is the, the biggest place that we struggle with creatives is having business tools in place so yeah, the, the cost uh, up front, you guys can check out my latest video in the iCard section up here on how to build a website without any expensive tools or complicated uh, um, uh, complicated coding or HTML. It's not a hard thing to do. And, and what you want to do, I'm just looking at the comment section over here. Miriam is saying, I'm going to create MIMS TV. Look for me. Absolutely. And uh, you can go to my, uh, you can go to uh, lots of different websites and buy your domains. You can have lots of different domains. You know, I've got OwenHemsat.com, FacebookLiveVideoPro.com, OwenVideo.net. I don't have websites in all of those places, but I do have domain names that I'll link back to uh, a website in that place. So, um, Simran is saying, how many websites do you have, Owen? You know, that's a great question. Let's figure it out. I have the business of video podcast.com. I have the Christian perspective.com. I have thriving sexy marriages.com. And I, of course, have Owen at the video spot.net or the video spot.net. So I've got four websites currently. They all have their own purpose and they all do their own thing. And, uh, and I don't recommend you guys setting up four websites right now, but I do think you need one main website for your brand, for what it is that you're doing, and you should be driving people to that website. So uh, let's see. We've got some other questions coming in here on the chat. Let's take a look here. Uh, 
Uh, Miriam Torres is saying that is so affordable. Philip Chandler is saying uh, most hosts give you a, a huge deal for the first year, and then you pay the subsequent subsequent cri- price for other years. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, and you should be taking advantage of all those first-time offers. Here's a super hack for you guys. Go and Google uh, like HostGator coupon or Domains.com coupon, right? Go to these places that you will, you'll actually be buying your website tools from, and Google coupon, you may find, there's a bunch of different coupon sites and you may find like a killer deal, 20 bucks off, 30 bucks off. Sometimes the codes work, sometimes the codes don't work, but uh, I use that hack all the time. And it's something that anybody can be uh, taking advantage of when building a website. Dean Jonathan is logging in. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, would you say that using a hosting site like GoDaddy is a good idea for setting up a site? Okay, that's a challenging question to answer, first of all, uh, because I don't want to downplay anybody, um, but I would recommend HostGator. How about that? Uh, I've, I've been with HostGator for many, many years. Uh, I have had some issues, right? My websites have gone down. My websites have been compromised, but HostGator has fixed them. Um, within 24 hours. And that's sort of what you you need to have as a beginner in the website development space. You guys need to be in a place where somebody else will take care of it for you. That's not your cousin. That's not your brother. That's not your ex-fiance's nephew or whatever, right? You guys ever been in that position where your family member is taking care of your stuff and they're doing a pretty crappy job of it? You need to be in a place where somebody you're paying is actually uh, responsible for the technical defaults of your site. So, you know, I, I'm not going to come out here and be like, oh, HostGator has been brilliant. Although I know a lot of people that that have never had an issue. I, unfortunately, I have a very popular site and, and, and people have tried to get into it. So uh, I've had those issues, but they've been fixed. Um, I also use a company called Site Chisel for my main website, sitechisel.com. And if you guys are serious, you're going to pay a premium for them. Um, but if you're serious about, you know, an incredible site, then that's, that's more of a company that I would, I would recommend that you, um, that you consider, uh, working with, uh, you know, I've worked with GoDaddy in the past, just flat out. It's just not the right company for me. Um, I, I haven't fallen in love with their user interface. I haven't fallen in love with their customer service. I haven't fallen in love with their product offerings, to be quite honest with you. Uh, some of these big, they're, they're like too big for me companies, constant contact. They're too big for me. You know what I mean? They, they just don't, um, respond well enough to my needs as a business owner. Uh, whereas I think HostGator, although equally big, they, they spend a little bit more time on service. Now, there's lots of other um, sites, guys. You can use DigitalOcean. You can get hosting just about anywhere. Uh, so, you know, I'm not necessarily giving you a tacit, like, uh, like promotion of some of these companies, but they're, they're out there, and I recommend using HostGator, and I recommend using Domains.com to buy your domain name. Now, if you guys want to check some of those out, go to the videospot.net slash domains, and the video spot.net slash hostgator, and you can check out uh, some of what we're doing over there. Uh, Christopher John, I, I always I always want to say Christopher Yawn, uh, but it may be Christopher Jan, um, uh, is saying drag and drop plugins make WordPress development easy. Yeah, X theme is a great theme. Thrive themes is a good theme. Uh, I, I think that you're going to pay for those themes. I'm not exactly sure, but it's okay. It's okay to pay 50, 60 bucks for a theme. Uh, so those are some things that I would, um, uh, I would absolutely consider. BG Jimmy is saying, I love the new logo for BizTube Academy. I've never seen this one. Yep, I made it this morning, uh, and I'm glad that you like it. Check it out, guys. We have a new video on the biztubeacademy.com website. Spoiler alert. There's some wind noise in it, so we're going to have to reshoot it, but uh, I'm going to keep it up because we did, I think overall, we did a pretty good job on that, and I, I'm, I'm excited to see um, uh, to see that on the page. So drag and drop templates are good. Uh, you know, that's going to help you make a better responsive, mobile responsive website. So... Um, uh, is Zef Zan back? Good to see you. No, she, I think that's the, the comment from earlier. Um that's something that you want to consider. Uh, consider. Simron is asking great questions today, Simron. Air 5, for all those great questions. Do you create websites on ClickFunnels? Yes, I do use ClickFunnels, and I use it religiously. I believe ClickFunnels is like the greatest website 
um, for developing landing pages. And I'll show you guys uh, a couple of, of tips. I'm like getting distracted. I'm actually liking a, a comment on, on Twitter right now. Let me show you guys uh, a little bit about what ClickFunnels looks like. And to do that, let's see if I can um, click off my logo there. So Ross Tyler's appreciate the tweet. So this is the back end of ClickFunnels here. And ClickFunnels is really designed uh, to build landing pages. But you can, oh, I can, you guys can't see. Uh, but you can also be developing uh, uh, not just landing pages, but also... Uh, membership sites and webinar pages and all sorts of great stuff. So you guys can see here, like this is one of my clients, USSD White Belts. Uh, this is one of the offers that we're developing for them. I'll just give you guys a, a taste of what it looks like. These are all basically drag and drop templates and there's a variety of them. But when I, when I create the page... You know, here's what it's going to look like on a desktop. Notice how we've got, you know, sort of a, an image here. And then we've got, uh, you know, name and email here. And you can get our free videos, some some sneak peeks of what, what comes in the video. It's very simple, simple, what's called a squeeze page. But check out what I can do with this. If I want to go into edit the page. Now, again, guys, you can build full websites in ClickFunnels. But... I don't necessarily do that. In fact, I've never done that. I build landing pages and templates and things like that. Okay, so now I'm in the editor, and this is where I can actually, you know, make changes and edit the thing. Uh, your website is designed in columns and rows, and that's just key. If you know that, you can design a great-looking website. Notice how this is like a two-column row, and then this is a three-column row, and a three-column row. You see how that works? Websites are designed in columns and rows. Now, I can go over here and click the mobile button and check this out. And this is actually going to show me what it looks like on a mobile device. So it's brilliant. It's a great system. I, I do actively promote this system. So I would recognize, you know, I would recommend checking that out. And if you guys want to check that out, uh, you can go to the videospot.net slash clickfunnels. Check out this upsell page. And by the way, you guys can opt into this. Um, at OceansideKarate.com. Okay, so what happens is you go to this page. And I created all of this in ClickFunnels. Super, super simple. I actually did this in person with the client. It didn't take long at all. You know, and you can you can design some pretty some pretty good looking you know, hot looking, sexy beast type stuff. So that's sort of what I wanted to kind of uh, uh, come in here today and talk to you guys about, uh, just show you a little bit about uh, some five things that you should consider when building a website. It's not as cut and dry as you think. You know, it's not as cut and dry as, oh, I don't want to have a website. Guys, you're professionals now. You're in the space. You're trying to make money. Uh, I highly recommend that you do get a website for these five reasons. You need to have a home base. You know, um, uh, if you're on YouTube, but you're also on Instagram and you're like driving people to Instagram, driving people to Facebook, have a home base, have one place where you can say to people, Hey, go to, uh, owenvideo.com or whatever. Owen, actually don't go to owenvideo.com. It's another guy's website. Uh, ironically, I know the guy, how crazy is that? But, uh, um, uh, you know, you like ownvideo.tv or, or ownvideo.net, something like that. You need to have a home base where you can send people and they can access all of your content from there. Number two is you need to be able to, to build a list and capture leads. That's a huge, huge important thing for you to consider. Uh, number three is for retargeting. If you want to be sending ads to people or sending content out to people, uh, you need to have a website so that you can be retargeting. And then uh, links on YouTube. If you want to send people out to your links, then you absolutely have to be using a website that you own. That's the only way to do it. You have to have a domain that you own. Uh, and then uh, finally is for easy traffic. Kind of goes with having a home base. Having one domain that you can send people to uh, will make all the difference so let's see <clears throat> let's see how this works if you guys want to check out more content uh, I'm going to add an end card here later you guys can't see it now but if you guys want to check out my video on how to build a website I've got a whole playlist over here for you thanks for joining me today it's good to see you on the Owen video show
join us next time. The Owen Video Show is about to rock your world!